All right, side crow, a very common posture that's offered. Most of the time, people are cheating. I'm just gonna be honest, most of the time you're cheating and you are potentially putting your shoulder in a vulnerable position. First, let's take a look at the, the version that most people teach and most people practice because it's way easier to actually balance in. Maybe not easy to get into, but easier to balance in. And what that is, is they come into it, they do a deep twist, elbow to hip, elbow, tricep to knee. And then from here, they lean into it and they come into side crow. But look at my left shoulder. Look how much lower it is than my right. So from a safety standpoint, one of the most vulnerable positions for the shoulder is when the elbow goes past 90 degrees under load. And as you can see in my, down, in my left arm where the hip was on it, this shoulder was jammed forward and down, loaded like crazy, but since the elbow was on the hip, I had no control over it, okay? So from a safety standpoint, it's not there. From a balancing point, all I'm doing is putting stuff onto a shelf. I'm not using my core very much. My shoulders may be getting worked. I'm just fighting the balancing point, which is great, but it's offered because it's easier to balance usually in. But for some people, that deep twist takes side crow completely out of their practice, right? So how can we make this one, safer for the shoulder, two, better for the core, three, easier for people to get into that can't twist very deep, okay? Number one, no more second arm on the leg. That's cheating, okay? We are no longer gonna cheat. We're gonna use our core to balance. And the way we do this is, imagine I'm facing the top of my mat, is we're gonna take the twist out initially, right? We're gonna turn our toes and our knees to the upper right corner of the mat. And then I'm gonna take my right elbow as close to the middle of my thigh as possible, hopefully the tricep, right hand down, fingertips straight forward. I'm not putting this elbow here. This left arm's going out about shoulder width distance, maybe the hand turns out slightly. And then from here, I don't just hinge, because if I just hinge, my feet and my butt stay really heavy. I want to go up with the hips, maintaining the left leg on the right arm. Pick up my left foot, my inside foot, lean forward and down. But you can see my shoulders are relatively on the same height. I can control the shoulder and my core is working a lot harder because I'm not just laying all of my weight on the back of my arms. So if you wanna make this posture work for you, take the arm out. If you wanna make this posture safer for you, take the arm out. And if you just don't wanna be a cheater, take the arm out. But there's nothing wrong with just balancing, right? So if that's the way you enjoy practicing, practice it that way.